everybody, this is Praxis, and today my dad's here helping. He's doing odds and ends uh, stuff to get ready for the final electrical inspection, and I'm working just on this room. Uh, what I've got to do is get all, all the wiring uh, hidden behind wall boards and stuff. Uh, and it's a complicated job. Uh, well, you notice right up here behind you there's a junction box. We've got to uh, make it so that there's a lift-off panel so you can access the junction box without using tools or anything. It's not like you can screw up a board and then you know unscrew it to get at it. It has to just be you know, lift off panel, no tools to get at it. So I got to be able to pull that off. But in addition to that, I need to be able to get at everything else because of, uh, you know, the issues I've been having with the plumber's work. There's a lot of pipes up there. We keep having new leaks develop in the plumber's work. Uh, you know, if you grade plumbers based on how many leaks they have, ours have been awful, really. Uh, it makes me feel good that the only plumbing that's buried at this point is behind this wall. Starts at the top, goes down, comes out behind the sink and the toilet. Um, I'm thinking about making a little uh, vent down at the bottom uh, so I can kind of like look in there periodically and see if there's water. Um, but if I ever do see water, the only way I can get it, the pipes in here is a saw. I gotta cut the wall open and um, that's, that sucks. Uh, you know, and given the apparent likelihood that there's gonna be leaks because the plumber's work has just been so terrible, um, you know, uh, I, I don't want to seal up any more pipes. So uh, there are a lot of pipes in the ceiling that are going to get sealed in along with covering up all the electrical wiring. So I want to make these all, all panels that can be removed. In addition to that, the plumbers also never uh, properly installed the pipes. Uh, their hiring was predicated on the idea that they were going to uh, bring the gray water together uh, so that I could collect it uh, before it went, uh, went out and uh, got dumped. They didn't end up doing that. Uh, they told me that it was because by code you can't do that. Um, would have been nice if that came up before we, I hired them, but it didn't. Um, so I, I'm also going to need to be able to get up in there in order to make those kinds of changes too. So I need all these panels to come off, you know, both to, you know, if there's ever leaks, I want it to be easy to get at them, and we have to, you know, change this stuff around later on anyway. So what I'm doing is I'm taking these uh, boards and just putting them across just with one screw each right across uh, the whole surface. Now, there is a fan under here, and uh, I'm not going to just board up the fan. What I'm going to be doing is marking off where the fan is and then uh, cutting it, uh, the hole for it later on, but I want to assemble this whole thing up on the ceiling with just little screws, then put some uh, cross braces on these to kind of hold all the boards together. I'll pull these single screws that I'm putting in, take the whole unit down, now you know once it has the cross bracing and it's rigid and together, take it down, put real bracing on the back side, then I'll be able to put it up and then just secure it to the ceiling with just a few screws here and there. So if I ever do have that issue with, you know, it starts to be a leak developing, I don't have to use a saw to get at it. I can just use a screwdriver and I can get up at it. And like I said, got to get up there anyway if I ever want to collect any of this gray water. So that's what I'm working on today. You might notice that the sink is missing here. Uh, that has nothing to do with the plumber screwing anything up. That was just, uh, uh, well, kind of a Mother Nature, uh, I guess the uh, the panel, th this thing here that I had uh, used to mount the sink uh, earlier, uh, it developed a crack and it started drying out and the sink was just getting a little wobbly on it. I think just because, you know, as it dry dried it shrank. Uh, so what I've decided to do is just replace it with a new piece. The other one was a 2x10, this is a 2x12, it comes up a little bit higher. I think that'll be a little bit nicer. In addition, uh, the 2x10 had radius uh, edges uh, and you were getting junk kind of falling in there. So on this one, I made a nice flat, smooth top. And also what I th I'm thinking about doing is adding just a little shelf. You can put like two brushes or two paste or whatever uh, on there. Uh, but, you know, but just to make an easier surface to kind of clean out. So um, I also put wall seal, uh, like a waterproof sealing on all this stuff. So once that all sets up, I'll be able to put the sink in and um, have it ready for when the plumbers come, which it should be any time now. They said they would have kind of already been here. Um, we'll see when they show up, but I want to have this ready because they are supposed to be actually connecting the sinks to the drainage and I wanted to make any changes I was going to make to the sink before they show up. So that's what I'm doing today. Irritating stuff. My dad's doing all the uh, hopefully less irritating stuff, knickknacks, and um, you know, we're getting close to that rough uh, final, I'm sorry, electrical inspection.